Hello guys, this is Pawan from Optimistic Coder and I'm back with another video on coding interview questions. So let's have a look on this problem statement. So the problem statement says that we have to create a method that is going to replace all the spaces in a string with percentage 20 character. And you may assume that the string is having sufficient space at the end to hold the additional characters. And you can, and you are also given with the true length of that string. So let's have, uh, let's understand what actually it is uh, telling us. The example that is given uh, to us is that the input string, for example, if it is hello world and you have a space in between hello and world, then you have to replace that space with percentage 20. And you are also given with the true length of the given string as 11. So let's understand what the approach should be to solve this kind of a problem. And important thing to note here is if you are using Java programming language, you are not allowed to use dot replace method to just uh, do it, but instead you need to use the character array. So let's understand how can we do it. So consider that we have an array of some size and we are trying to store the hello world in it. So the given input string has to be converted into an array and the given input string is hello world and if it is converted into an array it would look something like this so we know that we can convert a given string by using two char array so by using that method you could convert it into an array so after converting it into an array the first thing that we need to see is how many spaces do we have as we are given with the actual length of the string the true length that is 11 so we can traverse from 0 till 10 and find how many void spaces or vacant, uh, uh, vacant spaces are present in the array. So as we get the vacant spaces, we just need to count the number of spaces that we have. Next is what we need to do is to identify the index that is required to hold the new value. That means now the current index that is 11 so instead of 11 we need to identify what is the new index or the new index location required so that it could hold hello world with the within the void space we need to add three more extra characters so how can we find that we can find it with the help of this simple example where true length is given to us so true length plus the number of space that we have counted right now that space count into n minus 1 where n represents the number of characters that we need to replace we are here is that is percentage 20 so we have three characters so n minus 1 that is 2 so hence we are having the index value as 13 so now we can try to insert the values in a reverse order so when we will be having a two scan approach here in the first scan we will move from left to right where we will be scanning all the void spaces and in the next scan we will move from right to left where we will be inserting the value one by one so the insertion would look something like this where the d l r o and w will be inserted one by one and after that when we find a space in between that there we are going to insert the character zero two and percentage and then we are going to do the same process for the hello also and this will be done and we will get the end result as hello percentage 20 volt as a whole new value that's the explanation for this particular problem statement now let's code it okay so i've created a class named as uralify and inside that we need to create the method so that it will replace the spaces with percentage 20 character so let's declare the method first so the method name will be replace space and inside the parameters you are going to get two things first is a character array and the next one is the length of the actual string the true length okay so that's our structure of the method inside this method first we will declare some variables that we are going to use in the whole uh, method that is first is the space count the number of uh, empty spaces has to be counted that's the first thing next we need to def declare a variable named as index which is going to find the 
uh, length of the actual string required so that I could uh, put all those contents that is percentage 20 and for that how much length should I need that will be decided and that value will be stored inside the index so I need that index and I need a counterpart for the loops so I will be declaring I first thing that we need to identify is how many void space do we have so first let's run a loop where I start from 0 I less than true length i plus plus and inside this for loop we are just gonna run an if condition which is going to check that whether we are having any void space and if it is there then just increment the space count by one okay i hope that makes a lot of sense so by this we will get the number of void spaces present in it next outside we will just find the index and to find the index it's really easy get the true length plus the space counts that you have multiplied by 2 now in this case it's multiplied by 2 but if you have for example the characters that we need to add is percentage 20 that means you have three characters which means n minus 1 value is to be multiplied with the number of spaces if not you have a character value for example 2012 if you want to add five characters then you need to uh, multiply with n minus one that will be four values okay so i think that makes a whole lot of sense so the point of multiplying here two is because we are going to add in all the void spaces three characters so in the arrays we are starting from zero Till n minus 1 so that's why here also n minus 1 comes in okay so that's the value that we are going to store in the index and we will get the index value so that we can start from the back and here in this point we need to give the true length we need to address the end point of our array so for that we will just check the string length and inside it we will just mention the true length that means the end point will be having value slash zero which means end of the particular statement or the excess space will be removed so excess space will not be calculated instead it will consider that that is the end point okay next we need a for loop so that we can iterate from back and store one by one and whenever we encounter a space we will replace it with percentage 20 so for that we can start from the back that is i equals true length then i sorry true length minus one then i will be greater than equals zero and i minus minus in this for loop we will be having an if condition which is going to check every time that whether the index is having a void space or an empty space or not if it is empty then we need to mention three things that is whatever the index that it is pointing to subtract it by one and store zero in it remember once again i am saying it we are going from backwards so that's why we are first storing zero then two then percentage and as we go in we will store two and in this we are going to store index minus three and we are going to store percentage okay next as we have done the as, uh, as we have stored all the values now we need to increment the index or we need to update the index value so that index points to the exact value that or the index location so we will be subtracting it by three so that it points to the exact location in that particular array so that the if condition or the updation if any void space is seen by our program or in this loop if not what it has to do it will just go to the else part in which it is going to store whatever that we have it will not change anything 
and it will just store string i that's it and as we have done the updation for this if if block also we need to do the updation for the else block that is index minus minus so that's the whole method that we need and i hope everything looks good and it is working properly next is we need to test it so to test it we will just give this method as static so that i can use it directly instead of creating a uh, an object so the method name is replace space so here we are going to have two parameters one is the character array and next one is the true length so i will just declare the string str equals high okay that's our string and we are going to pass it here but we need to pass a character array so we will use dot two char array and uh, we need a lot of space because uh, we will get an error at the end if we don't use it let me show why i'm saying this so for example if i use here string dot length okay so we got the actual length of this particular character and we are passing it in the array but if you just run this you will end up getting this error saying that it is the having an array out of bound exception and to avoid this we need to just i will just write the output for this string save it okay so to avoid this we need to give a room so that there will be no problem in it and we need to do one more thing that is string dot trim dot length now it should work perfectly fine so let's see cool so all the void spaces are filled with percentage 20 and we have done successfully this manipulation so the given string was this and we have made it into this so this is what we called as reallification so that's all in this video guys i hope you understood the problem i hope you understood the concept if you like such kind of content do subscribe to my channel for the weekly content and if you like this video please hit a like and let me know in the comment section what you need in upcoming videos or what do you like about this video i will see you in the next video till then bye bye